What makes a place an ideal hometown? Happy residents, plenty of job opportunities, great schools and affordable living are often cited factors. To determine the best places to live rankings, US News looks at data on the country's 150 most populous metro areas, including the cost of living, job market, crime rates, quality of education and more. The data is weighted based on responses from a survey of more than 3,000 people throughout the US to determine what matters most to them when picking their next place to live. In this video, we're going to be looking at the top 25 best places to live in the US. And wait till you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video. Something that you would never even thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Trip Extreme, for more awesome top 10s and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. Number 25. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Best known as the hometown of the Packers NFL football team, Green Bay is situated roughly 100 miles north of Milwaukee. In the best places to live ranking, Green Bay scores highest for its low cost of living compared to the area's median household income. Green Bay residents spend just 20.46% of median household income on rent or mortgage payments, along with additional costs including property taxes and utilities. 24. Dallas, Fort Worth The most populous metro area in the top 25, Dallas-Fort Worth's highest score is for net migration. The Dallas-Fort Worth area grew by 4.84% between 2014 and 2018 due to net migration alone, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. The Dallas-Fort Worth metro area is the second highest ranking metro area in Texas on the list. And at 23, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids ranks 9th out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the US for affordability. The Western Michigan metro area also scores highly for quality of life, which takes into account the quality of public high school education, commute time, property crime and murder rates, and general happiness among residents, per the Gallup National Health and Wellbeing Index which asks residents about where they live as it pertains to mental well-being, sense of security, community pride and more. Next up, 22. Minneapolis, St. Paul After ranking number 6 in best places to live in 2019, Minnesota's Twin Cities take the number 22 spot this year. The Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area still scores highly for its affordable cost of living compared to the area's median household income, but it has dropped in desirability and now ranks in the bottom half of the 150 most popular metro areas in the US. The desirability score is based on a survey conducted in late August that asks US residents where they would prefer to live. Next up, 21, Madison, Wisconsin. Madison takes the number 21 spot in the best places to live ranking, in large part due to the metro area's strong job market, Madison residents earn an average annual salary of $52,890, which is above the national average of $51,960. Prior to the start of the pandemic, the Madison metro area had a low unemployment rate of just 2.5%. Into the top 20. At number 20, Boise, Idaho. Idaho's capital makes the list with high scores for population growth due to net migration and housing affordability compared with median annual household income. Residents need just 22.49% of median household income to cover rent or mortgage payments, as well as additional housing costs like property taxes and utilities. Boys scores lower, however, in desirability among US residents, considering where they would want to live. At 19, Portland, Maine. The most populous metro area in Maine jumped a few spots from number 23 in 2019 due to its quality of life, fairly steady job market and growing reputation as a desirable place to live. For quality of life, factoring in college readiness among high school students, proximity to quality healthcare, crime, average commute time and overall well-being, Portland ranks 14th out of the 150 metro areas on the list. In at 18, Boston. Boston jumps nine spots this year to number 18. It remains a pricey place to live, but the biggest factor contributing to Boston's rise in the ranks is desirability, where it ranks 15th out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the US, based on the survey of US residents. 
Next up, at 17, Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville takes the number 17 spot, with many US residents viewing the Tennessee metro area as a desirable place to live. People are also acting on that feeling as Nashville has grown by 5.55% between 2014 and 18 due to net migration alone. Nashville ranks 13th out of the 150 metro areas on the list for desirability. And at 16, Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota has risen two spots from number 18 in 2019. This metro area on the Gulf Coast of Florida is the fourth fastest growing metro area out of the 150 places on the list. From 2014 to 2018, Sarasota saw a population increase of 10.85% due to net migration. At 15, Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville falls back four spots on the list from 2019 with the introduction of new metro areas to the ranking. This northern Alabama metro area is the most affordable place to live out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the US and offers a flourishing job market with many local companies focused on science, technology, engineering and math. At 14, Naples, Florida. New to the list this year, Naples is a fairly small metro area with a little over 350,000 residents. With a southern location on the Gulf Coast of Florida, where the Everglades begin, Naples doesn't attract the same number of tourists as Miami or Tampa, but many people want to move there, and plenty are already. Naples is the third fastest growing metro area out of the 150 places on the list. Next up at 13, Seattle. Seattle ranks number 13 this year thanks to its consistently strong job market and high desirability among US residents as a place to live. The job market contributes to its high ranking for desirability at 12th out of the 150 metro areas on the list. With an average individual salary of $65,400, Seattle has the fifth highest average salary on the list, following San Jose, California, San Francisco, Washington, D.C. and Boston. At number 12, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Most people recognize this metro area in southeastern Michigan as home of the University of Michigan. Ann Arbor receives the highest score out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the U.S. for its access to quality health care, based on data from the U.S. News Best Hospitals ranking, tied with Reading, Pennsylvania, York, Pennsylvania, and Trenton, New Jersey. Ann Arbor's high school students also appear ready for higher education. The metro area ranks third in college readiness, following Boulder, Colorado, and San Jose. At 11, Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina. The Raleigh and Durham metro area continues to be an attractive place for people to relocate thanks to its affordability and job market. Research, technology, education and healthcare are consistently growing industries in the area. From 2014 to 2018, the Raleigh and Durham metro area grew by 5.44% due to net migration, according to the US Census Bureau. Number 10. San Francisco. Falling back three spots to number 10 this year, San Francisco remains highly ranked for its strong job market, ranking second out of the 150 metro areas on the list, following its Bay Area neighbor San Jose. Prior to the start of the pandemic, San Francisco had an unemployment rate of just 2.6%. The metro area has an average annual salary of $72,400. At number 9, Portland, Oregon. U.S. residents view Portland as a highly desirable place to live, with the city ranking number four in that category, behind Colorado Springs, Colorado, Honolulu and Los Angeles, which are tied for the top spot here. Additionally, a strong job market and consistent growth in population due to net migration over a five-year period are behind the Rose City's number nine rank. Number eight, Fayetteville, Arkansas. This fast-growing metro area in Arkansas has long been a strong contender in the best places to live ranking, and this year is no different. A low cost of living compared with household income, strong population growth due to net migration, and high quality of life scores all contribute to Fayetteville's number 8 ranking in 2020. In at number 7, Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines takes the number 7 spot this year, with continued growth in its job market prior to the start of the pandemic, sustained net migration to the metro area and solid quality of life scores. 
Des Moines also maintains a low cost of living compared to the median household income, ranking third for affordability out of the 150 metro areas on the list. Next up, number six, Charlotte, North Carolina. Moving up from the number 20 spot in 2019, Charlotte receives its high score for its fast and sustained population growth. The Charlotte metro area grew by 5.83% between 2014 and 18 due to net migration alone. Charlotte also rounds out the top 10 most desirable places to live, with many US residents expressing an interest in living there compared to other places on the list. And at the top 5, number 5, Fort Collins, Colorado. Roughly 30 miles south of the Colorado-Wyoming state line, Fort Collins is a small metro area in Colorado that's seeing a lot of growth. Fort Collins ranks 9th out of the 150 metro areas on the list for population growth due to net migration, which increased by 8.34% from 2014 to 18, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Number 4. Colorado Springs, Colorado Aside from holding the number 4 spot in the overall best places to live list, Colorado Springs is the most desirable place to live, sharing the top spot with Honolulu and Los Angeles. Consistent population growth due to net migration and a consistently strong job market help Colorado Springs rank near the top of the list this year. And at number 3, Austin, Texas. After ranking as the number one best place to live in the US for three years in a row, Austin has been unseated and falls back to number three. Still, Austin remains an ideal place to live for many with a strong job market high quality of life, and continued long-term population growth due to net migration. Now at number two, Denver. Despite there being a new number one metro area on the best places to live for 2020 that's just down the road, Denver holds strong at the number two spot. Denver remains a desirable destination for US residents and its pre-pandemic job market has been reliably strong from year to year. And finally, at number one, Boulder, Colorado. New to the best places to live list, Boulder debuts as the number one place to live out of the 150 most populous metro areas in the US for 2020-21. Boulder has a positive reputation among US residents, based on the desirability survey, an excellent education for high schoolers, tying for the top spot with San Jose. Boulder residents enjoy a high quality of life with the mountains at their doorstep and an average annual salary of more than $64,000. And there you have the top 10 best places to live in the US. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Trip Extreme for more fantastic top 10 lists. See you next time.